available or a kid to the school. A frustrated man threatening to jump from a bridge. Protesters getting tired after 10 days of street protests in Hong Kong. It's a false information. Confused students wondering why they were told they could leave a key protest area. These issues left Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement in disarray Sunday. With a new work week nearing, Sunday was considered by many to be do or die. Suicide was this man's threat. This father of three captured attention above the protest's main staging area. He demanded a return to normal life. After some five hours, he gave up and into the arms of negotiators. The supply station will stay here. Minutes away, a pro-democracy supporter outside the office of Hong Kong's Beijing-backed leader told people not to believe some misinformation. This man, claiming to be a student leader, seemingly conceded to police and helped remove barriers set to block the city's chief from going to work. Silence from protest organizers only helped further the disarray. And people are just plain tired. You can see it by the numbers of protesters here on the street this evening. Some of the thinnest crowds that we've seen ever since Occupy Central began. Now compare these scenes that you're seeing here with some of the first scenes of the pro-democracy protests. Crowds shoulder to shoulder calling for the resignation of the chief executive. People singing in the rain holding their umbrellas. And people waving their smartphones in the air with their lights on. But Sunday, a quieter, darker night for Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement. Student leaders recognize that. Every people, they will get tired. But once there is no significant progress, the people, the people will gather again. And there's a cycle that some people will go rest and they will come back. So this is a long battle. Other well-known politicians, including government thorn Longhair, to the city's first openly gay legislator, who said, we call on CY Lung, the chief executive, to resign, urged people to keep going. And at the last and late night press conference of the day, student leaders outlined guidelines for renewed talks previously called off with the government. The police officials and the government has made a promise that um, he will take care of the, um, the conference between the different um, districts of Occupy. We think um, we have a room to um, start a dialogue, um, a political dialogue on the polit uh, political reform issue. But student leaders stressed official talks will only take place if the government fairly handles any future violence in the occupied areas. On Friday, anti-protest forces clashed with pro-democracy demonstrators who complained not enough police were deployed to protect them. Police arrest dozens, some suspected of links with organized crime, known as the triads in Hong Kong.